everybody, and welcome to another episode of Tech It. I believe this is episode three now. Um, I did a little bit more mining off camera, but we are a bit low on stuff. What did I make Electrum for? I don't remember. Oh well. But uh, we're going to throw in some gold there, and we're going to make a uh, a advanced turtle. We're gonna need a chest for. We're gonna need a few chests though, so I'm just gonna make a bunch of these. Um, so we're gonna make an advanced turtle, and the reason for that is because it's easier to do some of the programming for it. And I was gonna say, why am I coming over here? But I got some cows because, as you can see, our uh... come on, eat. Eat, lovely. Oh, it must have been too soon. I logged off for a while and it just, it seems weird that I can't feed them again. Ah, darn. Okay, but as you can see our food is kind of low. I also have some wheat grown over there. So I'm just going to turn this into bread for now. But um, for the most part today, since we're so low on resources, we are going to talk about... Uh, programming a turtle. Programming a turtle to do some strip mining and then and then we can go through and pull things off the sides of the walls and stuff. But um I don't think that's enough. Oh wait, we have five more. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay. Good, 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 good. Um glass pane. I know I have glass panes, come on. I made glass panes for the last turtle. Did I just throw them out? I wouldn't do that yet, would I? <sighs> Come on. Now, um, but we're going to be doing a bit of programming for a turtle today. And I'm going to skip through some of the stuff, but we're going to, uh, there they are hiding from me. Okay, so we're going to need this in the middle, this on the bottom, then that, advanced computer, and then do this guy, and a glass paint, right? No, a chest. There we go, advanced turtle. And we also need more diamonds, which are back at the top. Oh, okay. Um, we're getting it. So we're going to write that strip mining program. I have it pretty much laid out so I could type it up real quick and just kind of explain things as I'm going. Um, that way we don't waste a lot of time of trying to test things out. But I think I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to take a quick cut while I get the rest of the stuff together with this diamond pickaxe and everything. And we'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and I have our advanced mining turtle along with a couple of chests. This one is, has some torches, this has some fuel, essentially, and this one is going to be our dump chest. Um, so now we're going to do a little bit of programming with our uh, <clears throat> turtle. So we're going to call this strip mine. And um, so we're just going to go through real quick, and essentially, we have to teach the computer most of the things to do. So first we're going to teach it how to uh, empty its inventory. So for i equals 1 to 16 at a rate of 1, do turtle.select i. So that'll go through each inventory slot, 1 through 16. And then it will drop down, which will put everything in... Uh, it's uh, in that chest below it. So then we're going to have it do a pre viewable check, which is file well, turtle like get fuel level, which checks its fuel level. Um, for now, we're going to do just less than uh, 10,000, which is 10,000 moves that the turtle can do. Um, uh, 
ten thousand moves that the turtle can do, it uh like moving forward, moving back, essentially. Um moving up. Now we're not gonna have it move up, but that's that's essentially how you do it. So um what it's gonna <coughs> Whoa, sorry. Um so turtle got suck up, which will pull out of the chest above it, right now or the chest that's right above it, and then turtle dot refuel, which will use that um which will use that uh the the coal and whatnot that's in that upper chest there. And then we are going to tell it how to get torches. So pre torch get is what we're gonna call this, and it's going to Select slot one, and it's going to see if there's any items in there, which is there. There will be only only be torches in that slot, so we're just going to see if it has a uh, if it's full of torches. Which if I put torches in beforehand, it'll do that. That's why I have this kind of as a secondary. Uh, check to make sure that there are no, or to make sure that there are torches in there. Because I might have put torches in, but you know. So that's to get torches, and then we're going to teach it how to dig a strip mine. So we're going to have it dig. This is while uh, turtle. Dot detect up, so that's if it sees a block above it, then it'll dig up. And because sometimes there might be sand or uh, gravel above it, then we're going to tell it to sleep for 0.2, I'm not sure if it's game ticks or seconds, but uh, that'll sleep for a second to see if. Uh, uh, um, sand or gravel falls, then it'll do it again. It'll dig above it again to clear that out of the way. So then turtle dot dig. This will do the same thing and make sure that there's no uh, no gravel in front of it that'll continue to fall. So and then that'll end that. So that teaches it how to just dig one spot. Um, now we're going to do a thing that's reset. So um, this is a ba basically going to be if um, it runs if it runs low on torches, um, or if it runs low on uh, if it runs low on fuel. So we're, this is going to be how it gets back to get more fuel. Um, and then we're going to have to put one block in place here so that it'll stop when it gets here. Actually, let me let me save real quick. So that's strip mine. We're just going to put a... Uh, we're going to make a stair here because the chest can then still open. We're just going to put it right there. That way, once the turtle sees the stair, it'll stop, and then uh, it'll stop, and then go through its functions. So it'll move forward until it detects that stair, and then stop. And then it will. Uh, turn right two more times, which will put it back facing down the strip mine yeah, yeah. get out of here okay um, I think we're safe now <laughs> okay eat some bread so that we can heal and back to this. So, 
go down to the bottom. Okay, so now it's facing back down the strip mine and it's going to empty its inventory and do another fuel check and another uh, torch get. And then it'll do turtle dot forward until turtle dot detect. So that'll put it back down at the end of the strip mine, basically, back where it was before. Okay, and now we're going to do the, uh, we're going to do the check to make sure that it, uh, knows when it's low on fuel. So if turtle dot get item count one is less than one, so this is its torches, then I think this is a capital. So if it's low on torches then it'll reset. And if it's uh, item count 16. If that's greater than zero, that means its inventory is full with uh, cobblestone and all the things that it's gathered, then it'll reset. And if its fuel level is less than is less than let's say let's say 2000 then uh, reset and end that so that's basically that we we've now taught it everything but we haven't even we haven't told it to do anything yet so what we're going to do is now we're going to tell it what to do so to get started we're going to empty the inventory and do a fuel check and get some torches and then for i equals 1 comma 63 comma 1 we're going to do the dig loop and end now Let's see here. Oh, we forgot to put in the dig loop. Okay. <laughs> That's what I, I knew there was something missing. Okay, so the dig loop. So we're going to also teach it how to do our... This is how we dig our strip mines. Not just how to dig, it's how to dig a strip mine. So for i equals 1, comma 10, comma 1, do. So this is our dig function from before. And then end that. And then we're going to tell it to put a torch down. So uh, we're going to have it dig a little hole in the wall, in the side of the wall, and then it's going to place a torch, and then it's going to turn right, and then it's going to go through the check that we did right here. So that, then it'll do the check like we set it, um, and then it'll that'll end that function. So then it'll do dig loop, and then at the end of the dig loop, after all that has happened, we want it to then come back home. So we are going to have it do, uh, after it goes through that dig loop 63 times, <clears throat> it'll turn, or turtle at turn, or turtle at turn right. Then turtle dot turn right again. Then do I uh, while uh, well do turtle dot forward until turtle dot detect and then end that and then it'll empty its inventory again. I just noticed there's a space up here that we don't want. 
So this is basically our program. Not that long, 88 lines of how a turtle, how our turtle here is going to do its strip mining. So I'm going to be honest, I've kind of I haven't tested this out a ton, so hopefully it works the first time. We'll see if that happens. Uh, let me let me just double check how much we set this at. I'm not sure if it'll be able to get 10,000 fuel out of this. I don't know if that's 10,000 fuel, but if it isn't, we can lower that because it'll get into stuck into an infinite loop trying to suck some uh, suck that fuel out. So let's start it. Okay, we already have a problem. <laughs> so edit, strip mine, so line two. Oh, whoops. That should be an equal sign, not a dash. If that's our only problem, I will be very happy. So strip mine, line 41, okay. Strip mine line forty one. Okay, we're missing. It says it expects an end in line forty one. Do turtle dot forward until turtle dot detect end. Hmm. Strip line, line 41, end expected. Okay, let me, I, I can't see the problem right now, so let me go through and try to find it, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I figured out the problem. It was that um, you can't, in Lua, which is the programming language for uh, computer craft, you can't do um, do until loops. They need to be while not loop while not loops. So instead of do turtle dot forward until turtle dot detect, you have to do while not turtle dot detect. So when it doesn't detect anything, it does turtle dot forward. So we're just going to save that and then run it again. And hopefully it should work this time. 84. Okay, so it might be the same problem that I just missed it in another spot. So 84. 84. Yep, same thing. So while not. While not turtle dot detect do turtle dot forward. The other thing I think I missed a I missed a do up here. I I'm not sure if that matters. It's easier to read though, so just Save it again and try one more time. And if it works, uh, 91. Expected to do, oh, I, 91. Edit, strip mine, 91. Did I miss ending a function? Function dig loop. For while not do 91. Well, let me. I must be missing. And, and ah, here it is. I missed the end at the end of check. Did I miss it at the end of this? I don't think so. Okay. See, this is. Uh, let's see. Try now. Okay, it's doing that. It's filling up with fuel. 
strip mine line 20 attempt to call no line 20 oh this should be a capital i this is all debugging this is what they do in real life so I'll try it again okay got these torches and it broke the chest above it so that's a little bug that I'll need to fix eventually but for now it's okay and it seems that already we have a bit of an issue where uh, obviously if it goes into water it can't deal with that I'm I believe I'm thinking that that would be a bit too much of a hassle in terms of trying to fix it that if that happens I'm just gonna have to kind of manually uh, go through and fix things so that the water won't flow through there but normally water well okay water or lava will be an issue majority of the time though it should be okay and I'm just going so I'm just gonna fill in this and there we go then just fill in the bottom here after this goes through and see as you can see it's placing torches all along so we found some diamonds and some emeralds and it'll place torches every 10 blocks in the wall here you can see it kind of you can't see it but it's there um, so basically I, I set this up so that then I, later I can go through and just kind of take out the walls but um, obviously it'll pick up some stuff as it goes and once it finishes getting all the stuff then it'll come back and dump it all in the uh, chest that we have there and we'll get a bunch of resources so I'm gonna let this run a while and uh, get some uh, <clears throat> get some of our uh, resources and then I'll show you what we get when we come back okay so as of right now, our turtle got us 8 diamonds, uh, 36 iron ore, some silver, uranium ore, lapis, sapphires, peridot, emeralds, lead ore, and aluminum. But I did find a problem with this. So the turtle is on its way back now, or should be, hopefully. Where are you? Hmm, where'd you go? Yeah, so what happens is if the turtle goes outside of where chunks are loaded, its program will terminate and it will stop. So it won't go back, it won't do any of that, it just stops, its program stops, and it stops working. Because as you can see, if I can grab it here, it's not filled with, in its inventory isn't filled, it didn't run out of torches, and uh, its fuel when I checked it, when it was stopped, was at 9,000, which is much more than our 2,000 limit, uh, minimum limit. So that's a problem that I'm going to have to try to fix. I'm not sure if there is any way that I can fix that because it would require chunk loaders or somehow the turtle acting as a chunk loader itself. So let's see. Hold on, let me see if there's anything. Narcissistic turtles. I'm not sure if those do anything. Uh, are those even sensor turtles? It doesn't show how to make those. But, um, yeah, so it seems that I've run into a pretty big problem. Yeah. 
Um, so that kind of messes me up. So I'm I'm wondering if there is a uh, let's see, chunk. I know there's chunk loaders. There's an add-on you can make a chunk loader mine cart. And there's a mine factory reloaded chunk loader. Hmm. So I don't, this is what's interesting me the most. I might be able to make it so that a, uh, so that a mine cart, it'll push a mine cart or it'll attach to a mine cart and a mine cart will follow it. Yeah, I don't know. But hopefully we can figure something out with that soon. I think there's also, if I do load it, um, there's spot loaders. I mean, if we make a ton of spot loaders, I guess it could place spot loaders as it goes. Or maybe if we have to go that intense, we can go with a, it will uh, break a spot loader. Or it'll have two spot loaders and it'll put one down and then it'll go back and pick up the other. And place the new spot loader in front of it so it'll kind of like tag team these spot loaders as it goes. That might work. That'd be a bit complicated. But it will, it will be interesting. So we will take a look at that next time. We are out of time for today. Um, now that I got some more resources, I'm going to take a look into that. I'm also going to look into uh, doing spot loaders. Maybe that I think that'll work. Is that, that spot loader tag team thing is going to be the best thing that we can do? So I will do that, and then I will see you next time. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I know we spent a lot of time underground and doing some uh, some just turtle-y programming stuff. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see some more. And I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.